Hey Chicago Bears fans, Harrison Graham here with another video. We are exactly one week away, a week from tonight, we will be watching the Bears take on the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday Night Football. So I thought I would run through the entire schedule and that we would break down the entire schedule and predict every single game on the schedule as well. We'll go through the schedule real quick and then we will also uh, go game by game afterwards as well. But first, 17 game season this year, 18 week schedule, predict the Bears 2021 record this year. I want to hear it from you guys in the comments. 9 and 8, 8 and 9, 10 and 7, 0 and 17, 17 and 0. Let's hear it. Predict the Bears record in 2021. All right, real quick, here's the schedule. Then we'll go game by game. Week one at the Rams, Sunday Night Football, as you guys know. Week two against the Bengals. Week three on the road against the Browns. And then week four against the Detroit Lions. Weeks five through nine at the Las Vegas, back home against the Packers, on the road against Tampa Bay, San Francisco at home, but then week nine on Monday Night Football against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Week 10 by week 11 at Balt or versus Baltimore at home. Week 12, Lions Thanksgiving game on the road, and then week 13 against the Arizona Cardinals. Week 14 at Packers, Sunday Night Football versus the Vikings, Monday Night Football, that feels like a big two-game uh, stretch. At Seattle in week 16, week 17 is against the Giants, and then finishing things off in the division against the Minnesota Vikings. Before we go game by game and give a score prediction and a final record prediction as well, subscribe and join us because we will be live for a Bears vs. Rams watch party a week from tonight for Sunday Night Football. The link is below, youtube.com slash bears. Now, let's have some fun. Subscribe, join us, plus a lot of videos between now and then. So let's go game by game now. Week one against the Los Angeles Rams Sunday Night Football. Uh, let's be honest, this is going to be a tough matchup. Andy Dalton starting. He's never been good in prime time. I like the Rams big in this game, 31 to 16 over the Chicago Bears. I think Dalton struggles. I think the Rams defensive front is going to give the Bears offensive line some problems. And I think the Bears will start the season 0-1. Week two against the Cincinnati Bengals uh, against Andy Dalton's former team. Back home, much weaker defense, much more manageable opponent. But Cincinnati's tricky. I think they're going to be uh, sneaking up on people this year. I like the Bears. 27-24, much closer game. But I think the Bears get back on the winning track. Andy Dalton plays better, scores more points, more efficient. Bears improve to 1-1. One and one. Week 3, another tough game on the, on the road against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Cleveland's going to be good. I, I like the Brownies in this one. 28-17. to 17. Uh, You know, it, it's just that Browns defense is good. Uh, they're going to be able to run the football effectively. Remember Danny Trevathan out the first three weeks of the year, so containing Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt is going to be very difficult. Bears fall to 1-2. and two. Week 4 against the Detroit Lions, and guys, this has been a lot of the chatter. Maybe this is when uh, uh, Justin Fields takes over. I think it is. Alert. Do -do -do -do. Justin Fields inserts the starting lineup for Andy Dalton and leads the Bears to victory over Detroit. It makes sense. You start one and two, and the offense is a little shaky. Put Justin Fields in there against a weaker opponent in Detroit. 31-17. Fields carves up, carves up the Lions, including his former teammate Jeff Akuda, in that matchup to improve to 2-2. Two and two. So what do you think? I've got Andy Dalton starting three games before Justin Fields takes over. So I'll set the over-under at 3.5. How many starts for number 14? Type O for over, type U for under. Get your predictions in down in the comment section. O for over, three and a half starts. U for under, three and a half starts. Let me know how many games you believe Andy Dalton will start before Justin Fields takes over. Now, if you want to put your money where your mouth is on prop bets similar to that one, there's only one place to do it. That, of course, is BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bears. Use our promo code BEARDOWN. It's all one word, bear down. when you go to chatsports.com slash bears. Put down 100 bucks, you're going to get 125 bucks for free, hence the 125% deposit, deposit bonus. But you got to use our link. The Bears, the over-under has been set at 7.5 wins this year. If you bet over 7.5, you get even odds, so you put down uh, – 100 bucks. Uh, if they win uh, eight or more games, you'll get the initial 100 plus 100 back. Uh, the money isn't as much in your favor if you go under seven and a half. So if you go under seven and a half on your bet, put down 100 bucks, you'll get about. 
I don't have the exact math in my head, but you'll get about 80 bucks back. So uh, honestly, the way to go is to bet over uh, seven and a half wins. That's where the money is. Chatsports.com slash bears. Use that promo code bear down to make some money throughout football season. All right, so I got the bears at two and two through the first month, which honestly I think you'd be fine with. So Justin Fields makes his second start against the Raiders in week five, and I think uh, they leave Raider Nation in shambles. Uh, the Raider fans do. 31-24, the Bears win, improved to 3-2. and two. I think the Bears kind of maybe get a little bit rolling here, some juice with Justin Fields, and you need to win that two-game stretch between Detroit and Las Vegas because week six is coming up against the Green Bay Packers, and that is not going to be an easy game whatsoever. Even though it is at home, this will be the first uh, potential big test for Justin Fields, uh, and you know, I think he'll play well, but I got the Packers winning 28-20, to where the Bears fall to 3-3. Three and three. Packers are still the kings of the NFC North until proven otherwise, so I'd be naive to predict the Bears to beat them in Week 6. Week 7, defending champs, Tampa Bay. And by the way, you don't think Tom Brady remembers last year forgetting what down it was when the Bears beat them? Uh, shout out Nick Foles. Uh, I think he's going to want revenge, and I think he'll get it. Bucks win 27-16. to 16. That's a good defense. Justin Fields could throw a couple of picks in this game. He might look like a rookie. Bears fall to 3-4. and four. Justin Fields falls to 2-2 two and two as a starter. Week 8 could be a battle of rookie first-round quarterbacks, Justin Fields and Trey Lance. We'll see how long Andy Dalton and Jimmy Garoppolo remain as the starting quarterbacks in Chicago and in San Francisco. But I've got uh, the Bears in this Week 8 matchup winning over the 49ers, 24-21, kind of a you know lower-scoring game. I think the defenses for both these teams will be solid this year, but I've got the Bears on top at home, 24-21 over the San Francisco 49ers. So I want to know, who do you guys think will be the better quarterback this year? Type JF for Justin Fields, type TL for Trey Lance. Get your votes in. Let me know which quarterback will be better in 20, or not only this year, but throughout their entire career. Okay, so week nine kind of wraps up the first half of the schedule. At the Steelers, Monday Night Football, when we did this video last time, I had the Steelers winning this game. I'm going to flip the script. I think Justin Fields gets a signature win, 21-20 over Pittsburgh to improve to 5-4 and four on the season at the midway point. This feels like a big game because the Bears have a tough schedule. Can you find a way to steal one in prime time on the road against an established team like, like Pittsburgh? If you can, you get that momentum going into the bye week. That would be absolutely fantastic. So second half, week 10 bye, which I like, and then week 11 at home against the Baltimore Ravens. I think last time I had Baltimore winning this game. This time, though, I don't know. Baltimore's going to be really good again this year. I, it's going to be a shootout, I think. I think both these teams will score. Baltimore wins it 31-28. to Should be fun, assuming Fields is in by this point between Lamar Jackson and Justin Fields. But I'll give the edge to the vet here in Jackson. 31-28, but Justin Fields shows out in a big-time matchup. Week 12. Get back on track against the Detroit Lions. A little Thanksgiving turkey football should be a lot of fun when the Bears take on Detroit on Thanksgiving. I think this is the biggest one of the year in terms of point margin. Bears win it 38-20 to over Detroit. I think the Lions are going to stink. You really need to win both those matchups if you're the Bears, if you're trying to make the playoffs. So I have the Bears winning 38-20 on Thanksgiving. Week 13 against the Arizona Cardinals back at home. Two young quarterbacks potentially. Kyler Murray on one side, Justin Fields on the other. Got to protect home field, especially in these 50-50 type of matchups. I'll take the Bears. Last time I had the Cardinals, I'll go Bears 26-24. I know it was just the preseason, but Arizona did not look very good in their exhibition matchups. I'll lean Chicago in this one, but this one's a coin flip type of game. And then you got the final stretch, weeks 14 through 18. At the Packers on Sunday Night Football in week 14, uh, I'd love to pick the Bears in this one, but I just don't really think it's going to happen. I got the Packers 34-24 at Lambeau Field. Probably going to be cl uh, cold. Probably going to be a tough matchup. Uh, it's not going to be an easy one. 7-6 and six is what the Bears fall to. Speaking of the NFC North, uh, who do you have winning this division this year in the NFC North between the Bears, the Packers, the Lions, and, of course, the Minnesota Vikings. Who you got winning it this year? Type CHI for the Bears. Type GB for the Packers. Type DET for the Detroit Lions. And then you can type MIN for the Minnesota Vikings. Go ahead and get your votes in. 
speaking of those Vikings, Monday Night Football, two straight primetime games. Uh, Bears uh, at home against Minnesota and Kirk Cousins. I think if you can sweep the Lions and split the Vikings matchups and, and you know get swept by the Packers, 3-3 three and three in the division, that's pretty decent. Got to win at home, 27-17. I've got the Bears winning this one over Minnesota. Then you get another crack at them in Week 18. But I feel like you got to take care of that Week 15 matchup at home because realistically you're probably going to lose Week 14 on the road in Green Bay. Week 16 back on the road against Seattle, which is really why you need to beat the Vikings because cross-country flight, that's not going to be an easy matchup against Russell Wilson and those boys out there. They've got some question marks on defense. I think the Bears can score some points in this game, but I'll take Seattle 28-23. They're tough to beat uh, at home, plus fans back in the stadiums this year. I think that'll play a factor. I'll pick Seattle 28-23. Uh, Bears fall to 8-7 and seven on the season. So they're right in the fringe, you know, wild card type of range here. Maybe the Giants are in that range as well down the stretch. Uh, so you got to beat them at home, and I think they will. 27-17. Justin Fields outplays Daniel Jones. They win this game to improve to 9-7. Nine, 9 might be the magic number to make the playoffs here here in 2021. Then you wrap things up against the Vikings. I said you need to at least split this matchup because you sweep Detroit, you might get swept by Green Bay, so you got to split with the Vikings, and I think that's probably what's going to happen here. You play a team twice in a month, hard to beat them both times. Vikings 26, Bears 24, and a close one, but uh, the Bears finish 9-8, and eight, and I think that'll be enough to sneak into the playoffs, which would be Super valuable for rookie Justin Fields, and then you take that momentum into 2022 uh, for your young quarterback. So there you go. Game-by-game -game predictions for the entire schedule for the Chicago Bears. Will the Bears make the playoffs this year? Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Get your predictions in right now in the comments section. Subscribe to us here at Bears Now. Like we said, we'll have a week one watch party against the Los Angeles Rams a week from tonight. Sunday night football going to be a lot of fun. Link is below. It's youtube.com slash bears now. We'll see you for more videos between now and then. And then, of course, for week one.